think violence in schools occur because people don't know how to mind their business. Schools occur and violence, it got something to do with the teachers too. And it got something to do with people too, but it occurred because people don't know how to mind their business, man. People don't understand, realize why they in school. They don't know the meaning why they in school. You in school to get an education, not to be in nobody else's business. That's why it occurred. I think school violence occurs because um, a lot of kids are angry inside, or they don't have good homes, or they just get bored at school and want to do something, and, um, or like different sides of the city, just getting played on some stuff. So. Uh, the reason I think violence in school occurred because like people want to like show that they that they tough, that they hard, and like they want to take control of the school. When I think about school violence, man, school violence is cruel, man. I believe that, man, school violence, it can definitely get stopped. It's up to the principals and it's up to us. But it can definitely get stopped. But how I feel about it, I really can't give you a motion or a feel. I can give you a statement like, it need to change. I think it's bad because it's such a bad atmosphere for everybody else who just wants to learn. See, school violence, yeah, I think that's a great thing because like school violence separates, you know, like the weak from, from the chumps, from the strong people, you know, who, who dominate the school. Is I'm a violent person? No, but I can get violent, but I'm not violent. I'm not violent because I'm just not a violent person, man. That's not my character. I'm not an animation. It's not my character. I'm, I, I'm, I didn't, God didn't put me on this earth to be a violent person, so no, I'm not violent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, me and my friends just play around like we hit each other and stuff, but not actual fighting. So, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, if I have to be, say, like, you know, somebody come out here and stuff on my new tins and stuff, they look dirty now because, like, you know, I came up from the mud and, like, I go home and I got to, like, polish these things, but someone step on my new tins, I, oh, wow, I'm straight smacked and we we'll start scrapping right there. The fight begins. For where does it end? The principal's office? Out of school suspension. The hospital. Jail? Or does it end here? Unless you find a way to change. I believe that ATS or alternative to out of school suspension is better because the students that come to our room also get the benefit of having a center for youth counselor that discusses with them the, the alternatives to their behavior to help improve their behavior so that when they go back to class they do not make the same mistake again. Okay, thank you. I am a social learning specialist at School 30. Um, as far as kids who, who tend to get in fights more frequently, I think being able to counsel students and work with them and give them the tools to, to not fight is the best means of, of helping them. Um, you can't just punish them and expect them to, to fix themselves. You have to provide them with the tools necessary. So uh, if at all possible, go, go to anyone that can help as far as counseling goes, whether it's an adult in your building or someone at home. Check it out.
Oh, my phone. Right, my phone ringing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm the phone. You always, you always have a phone. phone. Oh, oh. Let's go to the store. Let's go to the store. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, my bad, girl. 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 Oh, my bad, Cheers, guys!